back to Electro Fights YouTube channel with myself, James Benzie, aka the Bearded Benzie. Now, quite a few of you again have unsubscribed, which I'll say to you. We do things differently. I'm not gonna sit here with hundreds of pounds worth of gear to sit and shush up a video to make it look like boom, boom, boom. Seamless links and this and that and this and that. You get it, us. We are exactly the same as I am now on the camera for you, which, by the way, is a camera. It's none of this newfangled, dangled 4K video cameras. I've literally got a camera, a camera assistant, and a light, and that is it. That's all we do. You get in us from the shop direct to you. So if you can't come down and get it from us, I'll tell you exactly what we think of it and exactly what I'd say to you from the camera. That's the way we do things. Anyway, I'm yapping on again, so just SMPO, you know what I mean? Just saying. So, no hints there as to what video we're doing. So, we are doing the SMPO OS pod system. Let's wait for Chris to actually get that. Um, there you go. See what I mean, guys? I'm going to leave this here and do this just because we can. Just because I can. But Chris is going to zoom back in on my face now. So, like I was saying, guys, everybody else seems to be using like, also focuses. To, um, I've, I've seen some people set up for their YouTube stuff and they're spending thousands of pounds. Wow. The message is still the same. Just because you judge it up and clip your video in 14 different parts and edit it and take stuff out because you've made a mistake, then you're not being honest. In my opinion, that's my opinion, that's my personal preference. That's just me going, hey, listen, we're going to do it 100% raw, you're going to get natural reviewing. You're going to get us saying what we think of that kit as it is. I'm not going to blow smoke up it, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to tell you exactly how it is. I'm not going to fluff around and edit the video for four hours, or film it in 14 different million bits, and then accumulate them all together, and put a song over the top, and put fangled links here and everywhere, and link into the suppliers. If you want to know anything, go on electrofag.co.uk, pop into one of the stores here, either here in Ellsbury Port, Wigan, Liscard, or Liverpool. It's that simple. It's, it's literally that easy uh, and what you see it now wherever you are if you come to one of the stores this is exactly how all the guys are we're all friendly we just say it how it is we don't believe in selling a product that doesn't fit what we trust so anyway i've had a little bit of a rant on this one so i am supposed to be doing the smpo os pod system so i think about so guys here is the smpo now these little pod systems, I think a while ago I did the Inikid EQ which kind of upset me a little bit because I didn't get the performance I was expecting out of a pod system. And they didn't tell you on the box or in the leaflet what coil it actually comes with. They just tell you it's a half ohm coil. So after some digging on that particular kit, it turns out to be the half ohm plexus coil inbuilt into it. And I'm sorry but I'm getting it on SMPOs here, that coil didn't work with that kit. Now. That brings me to this. So there was a point to it, stick with me. This has the C-cell coils. Now, a lot of you know what the C-cell is. If you don't know what a C-cell is, it's basically a ceramic tube with a metal ring on the inside and then cotton on the outside, and it heats the ceramic, then heats the cotton and produces the vapor that way. So they tend to last twice as long as a normal coil because that metal element is not in direct contact with your coil, with your cotton. So, as you can see here, this has quick charge, it has the C-cell coil, now the quick charge takes 40 minutes from flat to full. That's amazing. Also has auto temperature control as well because this little kit does run in temperature mode. So, on the back here it gives you your little interlude of what you need to know and then this one tells you again what it contains so you get your SMPO OS, which is a 650 milliamp hour battery, you get a refillable pod, you get your USB charging lead and a user manual. Now, bearing in mind, guys, this one isn't how it comes packaged. The pod does come in a sealed container. This is my personal one. This is one that I'm using at the moment for the purposes of this. And you get yourself a nice little sticker there, which is the identical size to your SMPO kit. And you get your user manual, which we've just gone over in there, which comes in various different languages if you are from another country. And one of these nicer 
USB leads come with a kit with that little metal braid on the outside. I really like these. I know it's sad, but I like that little bit of attention to detail, I like the little Velcro strap that holds it together. Stuff like that makes a kit for me. So let's just get these two out. So as you can see, I've got the white SMP kit and iPod, which is already full. Now, with a lot of other pod systems as well, this particular pod won't vape anything other than you use bog standard basic liquids to get you off the cigarettes. However, we'll go into that in a little bit more at the moment. Just move this to one side. So your pod is refillable, which is just on this little rubber bung on the side here. So you can just pop that out. Pop your liquid in and away you go. Now, after a little bit of digging and a little bit of research, this pod only holds 1.8 millilitres of liquid, which is smaller than most pod systems that do hold 2 mil. However, this thing is that efficient that you can get 400 complete pops off that one tank, which is the equivalent to two packs of cigarettes. So, just based on that, that is freaking amazing. So, there's that one. Oh, it's a little bit of juice. And this is the battery itself. So it is just a nice, simple little pod system. I like the white one, yes. It does look a bit dirty because I've just picked up a bit of oil on there. And then you have your little power button here, which is five clicks on, five clicks off, and then it'll cycle through the lights. Each light represents its charge. So white is 70% and over, green is between 30 and 70%, and then red is below 30%, so you need to charge it. And then your little charging slot is just on the bottom, and I have to tell you, it is tiny. That's it, against my fingers. It's, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. So, I tell you what, I've had enough of doing this up close and personal, jargon, malargon. Pop back to my face and we'll carry on. So, we've got that all good, yeah? Right. See, see what I mean, guys? I ain't, I ain't gonna fluff it up and take that out and then do a short reel of it. You just get us. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. Anyway, I'm sick of ranting on videos. Everyone keeps on asking me every time I do a Facebook Live to go on a run. I've had enough. <laughs> anyway, so my kit is turned on at the moment and literally pod systems are pod systems. I don't know what you want me to go and say about it apart from you slide the pod into the top, job done, press the button, auto draw, no button to vape. What more do you need? See, the vapor production isn't massive, but bearing in mind I am vaping a 70-30 liquid in this at the moment. Um, this has been in now for two weeks and it still tastes brand new. So it does handle those slightly more premium liquids and slightly premium mixes. But again, depending on what strength of nicotine you're going for, depending on what you're doing, I also have a pod that has sulfurs, menthol in it, which is a 20 milligram nicotine salt. And to be perfectly honest, for someone that doesn't vape nicotine, I actually don't get that horrible nicotine buzz that I generally do off six milligram normal liquids. It's nice and smooth. I definitely know I've had nicotine, but I don't get a serious nicotine rush off it. The way that it delivers it is insane. But again, that could be down to the nicotine salts and the way that the nicotine salts delivers itself. But combined with this kit, holy shit. See, on the uncut video as well, shiz will be replaced with the non shiz word. I'm sure you can do the math yourself and work that one out. And I'm sorry. But this is how natural we are. Just below my camera, I can just see Chris's face and I can see him dying to laugh. I can just see it. So, again, guys, this is why we do them the way that we do them because I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be something we're not. We're us. We're not professional reviewers. I don't get paid to review products. I get asked to do a little video about them. So, you get in us. So, the next video that I do will be raw and uncut and unedited. Pretty much like these are, but I'll be using language that I don't usually use. Um, something that we changed on our Facebook site as well. And again, see what I mean about ranting. Once you, once you get me going, that's it. So let's rant about this kit. Buy one. There you go. End of story. $24.99. Free liquid. Come down to your local electrified. Why are you waiting? What's that here you saying? Yeah, they do do it in other colours. They don't just do the white one, they do a grey, a black, a red and a rainbow one. Um, the pods as well are two for the tenner, so you can't really complain for that. And as I said guys, we are here in Port, so this is where this 
particular segment is filmed in the Ellsworth Port store. We do have Wigan, Liscard and Liverpool. They're stocked up, all of them as well. But, seeing as though we are on a little bit of a rant and SMPO, I'm probably going to watch this and you do make an amazing bit of kit. But I'm really sorry guys, I had to wear your hat backwards. Because one, I don't do bent peaks. But two, look at the size of that! You can go camping under that thing. <laughs> see, see what I mean? I'm not even going to cut that out because I don't need to because that's just us. But listen, I can go outside and offer someone a shelter. Now, your hat is beautiful, by the way. Just this peak is about six foot too long. So if you just shorten it a little bit, you've made yourself a quality hat. Or, do what Lecture Fag have done. I mean, you can see this here. I don't know whether that's about in the right space there. You can see how long that is. But do a flat cap, man. Huh? Do a snapback flat cap. Send it to me, and then I'll, I'll change it. But for now, I can't, see, I can't, I can't do it because I can't see anything. I, I, I can't. I had to rant about something. But that's the only thing. The shirt. Boo! I like it. In fact, I like it that much that I've worn it a few times outside of work. It's really nice. I like the fact that it's uh, it's got lycra in it and it's kind of, kind of structured. You can get some people to share your shirt as well. Which we've also tried as well. We've won in the old shirt. You can get three people in one. But on the aspects of the pod system, in my opinion, my opinion, bear in mind, I've tried the Nexus. I've tried the Infinix, I've tried the Rolo badge, I've tried the EQ, this thing beats them all. That's my opinion. Again, vaping is subjective, so you may not like it, you may prefer the EQ, you may prefer one of the other competitors, but my opinion, my basis, and I think the all round consensus in our store in Elgin Airport is the Sampo SO system is. So, with that said, guys, you know what to do, you need to vape on. Vape strong, and as always, keep it cloudy.